Hey beautiful people, my name is Brittany and today I'm going to be sharing about why I love, love dancing and how I feel like it's a super awesome therapeutic emotional release. Just like really cool self-care practice as well as being ridiculously fun and an amazing natural way to move the human body. And if you follow my Instagram, you know that I really love dancing. I post pictures, pictures, clips of me dancing on my Insta story. And it's just such a natural part of my life now. And it's been that way, I'd say, for about five years? Five years. And even before then, I was doing some dancing. But in the last few years, it's really become something that is super natural and integrated within my life. I can't imagine my life without dance but that wasn't always the case. I used to have a lot of fear around dancing in public. And even on my own, I felt hesitant about how to move my body. But it was something that I always enjoyed and I think that's really natural. I think like we, when we're born and when we're kids, it's really natural to be dancing and singing and doing all these creative, artistic, expressive movements with our bodies and through ourselves that yeah, are just natural and human. And then over time, I think some of us, I know I did feel like I shouldn't express myself in that way. I couldn't just like sing out if I wanted to. I was suddenly worried if I had a good voice or wouldn't just like dance wherever I was. I was worried that I wasn't moving my body the right way. And I think there's a lot of things like that and dancing definitely got in there for me. I remember when I was in like middle school and high school feeling super self-conscious about how I danced and I loved to dance but I also was like worried that I might move my body in a way that wasn't cool or that people around me would think was weird. And to some level, on some level I still felt that when I would like dance around my room with my friends. I definitely felt more free to express myself there but there was still some element of like are they gonna think I'm cool? Was that like, was that the right way to move my body? And even on my own, there were elements of judgment, self-judgment coming up around how I was moving my body. About, yeah, I think it was five years ago now, I went to ecstatic dance for the first time in Austin, Texas. They have a great ecstatic dance community there, by the way, as do a lot of parts of the world. And ecstatic dance, if you haven't experienced it before, is, it's a great place to move however the heck you want and I think to be in a space that's really not judgmental. That people around you are also interested in just going within, tapping into how they're feeling and expressing it through their body without that having to look any certain way. For me, the first time I went to ecstatic dance, I definitely felt that okay, this is a free space, I can move here, but I still felt worried about it. I was aware of how I looked, what other people might be thinking, just what I was thinking. That was the biggest thing. I was just in my head still. And that actually changed pretty quickly because it felt so good to be getting into my body and to be expressing myself that I quickly learned how to shed those layers of of anything really, of judgment, of self-reflection, and just be in my flow. And that is why I think dancing is such an amazing tool for radical self-expression. When I dance now, I feel like there's no filter. I don't have to use the filter of language, for example, to express myself. It's just I'm feeling something and it's coming out of me. And most of the time I feel like I'm in this meditative space, usually like with my eyes pretty closed, not, not really thinking about what's around me as much as like feeling from within. And then I'm doing a movement before I even know, before I even think about it, it's like this emotion, this expression is coming through me. And that, that just feels to me like one of the greatest ways to emote, to express. And 
I feel so excited about it. I can't believe I've, I've never made a video on it here before. So I'm excited to be sharing this message here with you. And I want to share a dance with you since that's what this is all about, dancing. And I'd love to share my vulnerability in that space with you because it is a super vulnerable, raw place for me. And also, like a few years ago, I think the thought of, or maybe even a year ago, the thought of putting out a video of me dancing would feel like really, really edgy. And now it just feels like, yeah, that's, that's me dancing. That's how I moved my body at that particular time on that particular day. And it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean like I'm good at movement, I'm bad at movement. It doesn't mean, it's just, it was just me expressing myself to that song on that day. And um, there's, a, there's a really nice non-attachment, I think, that goes along with that too. And feeling like, yeah, there'll be another dance. There'll be another time to express myself and not feeling like this time needs to look a certain way. When I go to ecstatic dance, I feel like I live a whole lifetime in like the two hour span that it is sometimes. A whole death and rebirth. And there are moments of total invigoration. I'm on top of the world ecstatic. And there are moments where I feel like I'm just sometimes just sobbing and feeling so much if in like a dark place or in a in a deep place that it feels safe to express in that space. And all the ecstatic dance communities that I've visited around the world are a little different. Been to one in Oakland and on the big island of Hawaii in Austin, like I said, and at least one other one. And they all have their own vibes and the setup's a little different, but basically it's really simple, very few rules. No talking, no shoes, respect your own space, respect other spaces. And yeah, I, I just can't recommend it enough if you're looking for an interesting space to explore your dance that's in a communal way. Just the experience of feeling what's coming up for us in a space where we want to dance and maybe aren't dancing or are noticing, like for me in the beginning, it felt like there was a lot of self-judgment around my dance, around like even at ecstatic dance, how I was moving my body and oh, I want this to be better, I want this to be easier, I want to be more in my flow and less in my head. Whatever it is, it gives us data on where we're at and it's such a beautiful way to, to witness our own self growth. And I mean, shoot, it is so fun. Moving to music is, I don't have words for it. I just have movement for it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you're wanting to learn more about yourself and to have more ways to express yourself, explore your own self growth, self love, I so recommend checking out my program, Simplify. You can learn more about it on my website here and use this discount code. Sending so much love to all of you. Thank you for watching. Mwah.